What's up guys, Retro Gamer here, and welcome to another amazing part of the Wind Waker. In the last part, we got the Wind Waker, we did some stuff on Windfall Island before we got the Wind Waker, and we got the Wind's Reckoning after we got the Wind Waker. And I set everything off, like, you know, non-chronologically, so you know it's not scripted. Alright, in this part, we're going to be grabbing this rupee right here, and we're going to be using this bomb. Place it to blow that up right there, and link this hunched over, looking so ang He's angry at me because I I let him. I put him in the state. I am sorry, Link. And now we got a little shortcut right here. So now we didn't got to climb up all that stuff and do that stupid sidle crap. But anyway, let's go on up here. And who's this? Who is that? What are you doing here, man? Link. Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you travel far for one with no wings. Is that an insult? And your sister, is she? Uh, you just know. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I told my people here about you, and all of us read are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our air. That word. It's settled. Then I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. All right, man, leave. Jeez, you're like one of those people on the phone who just doesn't know how to say goodbye well. And that would be me. Uh, and I got a question, man. Why did you fly? The entrance to the place is right here. Were you just showing off? You big joik. I'm gonna hit these pots. And of course I get nothing. Cause you know, nothing's the best prize of all. I'm um, gonna steer it. And welcome to... Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Where's the A button? <laughs> I can't find my A button. Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. <laughs> that is a cool name for a bird. <laughs> a troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on this island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? Yeah, the dragon named Valu. I see. We of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our living on the airways. So you run airliners? I don't, I don't know. You got an airport here somewhere? I don't see anything. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of the Dragon Roost Mountain to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is the scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her rings. Recently, however, once, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of light will be threatened. As chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I, uh, I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Freaking dyslexia. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is gallant as a gallant. I'm glad. God, so much reading. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. And why do you gotta whisper that? I mean, this dude was already speaking. Ah, whatever. Let me direct. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways, and in like of the current situation he may just give up on ever getting them what say you will you share some of your courage with my son will you meet my son yes <laughs> I thank you we should do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours 
I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Med Medley. Medley. I'm going to call her Medley. Is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Yeah. Here, Link. Take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. A deliver I got a delivery bag. Finally, Rita Postman. So, I'm a freaking postman. Uh, you should find Metley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. So, I'm a postman. Let me be frank. Because I'm tired of being Bob. But anyway, I really don't like the postman in Zelda games. I don't. It started with Majora's Mask and since that was my first Zelda game and you know I never really liked his face and God he's everywhere. Well now, I haven't seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting on some part time help, would you? Uh Yeah, I'm totally here. Ooh, that's excellent, but that's good. But first, to see if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test. Just a small one. Oh god. Match the seal and the envelope with this. I wish this was touch screen. Just, uh, I wish this was touch screen. I just wish it was. Alright, this is, is basically matching. Except if matching had spike bats and like bear traps all over the cards, just it's painful. It's simple, like, it's simple when he says it, but execution is so ridiculous, and the time allotted is really terrible. Is that clear? Yeah, it's really clear. Four times without, you have to sort at least ten letters, but we don't need, we can get ten letters to get paid, but we need, like, twenty-five. So, this may be fast forward. Give it your best shot, and I'm gonna try to talk the whole way. Alright, already failing. There we go, right there. And I'm going to go to right here. Alright, but anyway, yeah. I actually don't work at Amazon anymore. I have yet to say that. Oh my god, you screwed up. But anyway, yeah, I had to leave Amazon because unforeseen circumstances. AKA no rights. But, um, yeah, because my brother's car broke down. And I, oh god. And I didn't have any transportation there. But, uh, oh look at that. Only 18. That sucks. Uh, that's not good enough. I pass. But I get one... Us. Oh, I'm telling you, by the end of this, I'm going to be rich. But, um, I'm actually going to cut all of this out. Or fast forward. Just get... I don't know. But, um... I'll fast forward if I finish it soon. Cut it out if I take forever. Which I probably take forever. Uh, oh, yes! <laughs> At the last second! <laughs> 25 minutes. You have an amazing coordination. Seriously, I'm stupid fight. Yeah, because you are stupid. Incredi incredi what? We veterans do this all day long. Even we have a hard time reaching that amount. I gotta give you more money. Got to. Three rupees per letter comes to 75. Okay, that sounds good. Hey, your name wouldn't have to be Link, would it? It is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I thought you looked like the lad the chieftain was talking about. In that case, I should have expected you to pull off something like this. Her all about you. Yes, I sure have. You had a rough time, Link. I feel bad making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helper just arrived. Maybe you can just give him advice next time you come by. Alright, oh god. That was that was painful. It hurt. It hurt so badly. It hurt so bad. Oh hey. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. And you have a strange shaped face. Don't make fun of the hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh me, I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit Valu. My name is Metley. Well, to, be, well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Okay, there was a glitch in the audio. Freaking me out. He wants you to, you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. You accepted father's letter. It is a letter from father addressed to his son. Since you have just received a fine delivery, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? What do you want to take? Oh, okay. Throw this back to the first floor. Alright, you're gonna have to go. 
No, it, he has no bad intentions, I promise. Yeah, I hope not. Uh, by the way, um, listen, Link. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of the Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Okay. Not even gonna ask a single question about it. So, uh, let's go ahead and set that to our, uh, where, where's my letter? Oh, there it is. Alright, set that. There we go. No need for a pause, but now to stop moving and stare directly down at the game cat. <laughs> Solves everything, don't it? Alright, now we're gonna go in here. Trying to check the time for recording. Don't want to go too long, but then I gotta account for the fact that I had to do some stuff at the beginning. And do, it's just a whole bunch of stuff. Now let's talk to you. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, uh, I'm supposed to be Link. Here's a letter from your father. A letter? From my father? Oh, sure. Tell me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get his scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What are you trying to do? Say that you can calm D Valu down? Psh! That's just a big fat lie. He's way, it's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find some, find me someone who can get past all the obstacles and Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you have to say. Alright viewers, now for this next part, I'm going to need to cut because I'm going to probably kill this little kid with my sword! <laughs> you are so lucky. You know, make peace with your gods because I'm coming for your neck. Ugh. Jeez, that kid is unbearable. Like freaking unbearable like the most disrespectful the most just anything uh it's worse than my sister oh shots at myself that was that was just wrong that was wrong all right but anyway yeah and look at that who's this guy you seem kind of familiar kind of remember taking 20 rupees from you hey man i'm the new part-timer green clothes and a green hat bar me for asking but you're a link aren't you uh no huh Oh, really? My mistake, man. <laughs> you st Come on. You really are, Link, aren't you? Well, yeah. Aha! I knew it! You're a legend among the part-timers here, man. I really admire you, man. Just once, I love to see the legendary 25-letter so sword. Ah, oh, God. Just why? You want me to do this twice? Uh, why not? Do your best, man. Done it, and it's done. 26, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, 26 letter, amazing, man. I'm so impressed. Like seriously, man. I gotta tell my mom. What <laughs> Your mom? Back home, all about this. I just got a man. I got a favor to ask of you, man. I'm still new. Nice little head, head bob. What are you, a jackal? I'm still new here. I'm not allowed to leave, man. So would you mind putting this letter? And to my mom in the post box for me. Thanks a lot, man. You accept it. I know tomorrow. It's so sad. You can almost cry. You cry every time. Every Tim, I'm in. Keep it in your delivery bag until you find a post box drop. It. I guess I could throw it in here with all the other letters, but I just can't bring myself to do it. It's against the rules, man. All right, so. Uh, I'm going to take this stupid letter out to go get ma mailed because, you know, freaking being a mailman. It's not even King's Quest, man. But, um, where the freak's that mailbox? It's not. It must be over. I know. I remember seeing it. I'm not stupid, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm not stupid. Yeah, it's right down here. We're going to, um, going to take that, put that to Y. Put that right in there. And he just ate it up. Cause chunk 
Pover. The post box is near Dragon Roots. Postage is only five cents. Do you wish to send? Okay. I think. Okay, whatever. Five cents. So now I guess we gotta pay to send off letters now, which I guess it's okay, I guess. But um, yeah. Now that we did all of that, I think I'm gonna end off this video right here. So if you like my stuff, why not comment, favorite, like, subscribe, become a mailman or a retrite rather, because mailmans are not cool. And uh, when we come back, <laughs> you can check out my channel and my Twitter when we come back next time. But um, that's me trying to get us some hearts. But um, when we come back next time, we're gonna be seeing what Met Metley want, and we're gonna probably be going to Dragon Roost Cave since that little kid challenged us. So uh, to you, Prince Kamali, I say challenge accepted. This has been the Retrite. It's the Retrite. I'm a Retrite now, so I'm a fan of myself. Jeez, like. Borderline narcissism. This has been the Retro Gamer signing out. There you go. There you go, man.